Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Galadon Toys. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video and today we are doing another Dragon Ball Halls video. Okay, so today we will be unboxing the Bonpresto Dragon Ball Z Solid Edgeworks Trunks by Bonpresto. Pretty cool looking figure. Keen to open that up and see what it looks like. The one I've had sitting here probably about a week and a half now. Uh, the Maximatic, um, yeah, the first Maximatic Vegeta. Um, so yeah, pretty psyched for that because the Goku line was really, really good. So yeah, pretty keen to get into that one as well. And the one I'm probably the most excited for is the Dragon Ball Z Glitters and Glamours Videl. Uh, really keen for that. I've got a few other uh, the Glitters and Glamours down there. So uh, it'd be nice to have a fourth female character to go along with them. So let's start with the Trunks and then we will move on to the Vegeta. And then we will end it up with the uh, Videl, I think. Just for good measure. And yeah, so let's get this trunks opened. Actually a bit bigger than I anticipated. I was expecting them to be a little bit smaller than this. So when uh, this was actually, when I actually got the message to say these were uh, ready for me to pick up, uh, I think it took me like three days before I was going to be able to get over there. So my girlfriend went over there like a day later and uh, picked them up for me while I was at work. But the real kicker was they accidentally gave her the base version. So she had to go back and swap it around. Um, so yeah, I was a little bit cut because um, I thought I might miss out. They might sell the Super Saiyan one before uh, I got a chance to sort of get back down there. But luckily they had one, they put it aside. And yeah, now we've got him. And I have to say, because of the actual size, um, maybe the base version is worth getting as well because it is a nice, nice big size. But I have a feeling I'm going to have to play around with this, um, with his foot. Maybe he needs a bit of hot water treatment. I don't know what the go is there. But this, uh, I'll be honest guys, this is cool, but... I don't know, it just looks off. Yeah, it just looks a little bit off. Um, the foot's definitely really off. So I'm going to have to play around with that on a, uh, on a table. But yeah, you can see it's really, really not straight there. Like... Yeah, so I don't know how he's going to stand, or if maybe the stand elevates it a little bit. I'll have a bit of a play around with that uh, before the end of the video, but overall the figure is pretty cool looking. It's not bad. It's kind of cool. But yeah, I honestly don't know about this one. I'm a little bit uh, iffy on it. Okay, so he stands just fine. Um, I may have to just hot water treatment his feet a little bit, just so they're a bit straighter, but he stands all right, but yeah, it's just weird. It's like one leg's longer than the other, but yeah, I don't know, stands okay. So I guess we won't stress about that too much. Next, we will get onto the Maximatic Vegeta. And, uh, hope that he's as good as all of the Gokus that came before him in the line. So we know they're a nice big scale, which is a big winner. I really dig that. Okay, he looks pretty good. Looks very good, actually. Damn. Oh, they've even got the broken bit of armor. Hell yeah, I love that. 
Oh man, that is really, really cool. So yeah, here we go guys. The Maximatic One Vegeta. Like, come on, how cool is that? I absolutely don't. You can see the little bit of uh, broken armor there. That is a really nice touch. I might actually have to put um, a Maxmatic Goku and this Vegeta, uh, maybe fighting the Jiren. Oh god, where's Jiren up there? Yeah, so, might have to put, um, yeah, them with the Jiren because, yeah, that's just really, really awesome. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Love it. Absolutely love it. Really excited to see what they do with the rest of the line uh, for Vegeta figures moving forward. Uh, but I'm really, really keen to see some awesome Vegetas to go alongside all the Gokus from the uh, Maximatic line. So Trunks was a little bit of a letdown. The Vegeta was a huge win. Now, let's see about the Videl. Let's see if uh, she's going to be a winner. I think she's going to be, like, I'm pretty sure saving her for last was a smart choice. But let's find out, shall we? And straight off the bat, before I've even opened it, as soon as I've seen it, it looks phenomenal. They do fantastic work with these glitters and glamours figures. Like, just look how clean that is. Like, the colouring. Colouring pants just it's just nice clean sculpt okay pop her arm in yep. so there we go that is a sick figure Feel like we've never really had a really decent Videl figure. This is really good. Not super overly sexualized like some of them. It's just a really good representation of Videl to have on your shelf. I dig it. I think she's gonna look really good. Looking forward to reviewing her and uh, showing you what she looks like with the rest of the line that uh, I've collected along so far. These two are definitely the standouts uh, from today's unboxings. Definite. And the Trunks here is, yeah, a little bit of a letdown. Like, he's a good scale, but there's just something off about it. Just really, really off. I don't know what it is. Um, probably going to spend some time with this before I ever review uh, these figures. Just for the sheer fact that... This particular Trunks, um, I think I need to spend some time with it, figure out what is wrong with it, um, why I don't like it, maybe even um, take it over to John's and discuss it with him, because yeah, it's just, it's just off. It's just very, very off. I don't know if it's the sculpt or what, but it is obviously a sculpt, but... I don't know if it's the proportions or what, but we're gonna we're gonna work it out guys. Um, yeah. So until next time, fellow collectors, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button right there and join the Gallic Gun Toys Army. Don't forget you can also follow me over on Facebook and Instagram at Gallic Gun Toys to connect with me there too. Thank you as always for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.